and welcome to the second installment of the Procedos at Home Training Program for Lower Back Strengthening. As before, you should always consult with a qualified medical professional should you have any issues, pathologies, aches, pains, anything that might be undiagnosed so you get the proper care. This program is meant to strengthen a healthy back, not to cure or diagnose an injured back. So, if you got your platform, let's get on it. We have Marissa here who's going to be demonstrating again, as she did in video one. If you remember about the lower back, the lower back is a composite, or it is the hips and the thoracic spine, so today we're going to go after it a little bit more aggressively. The first program you should have done for about minimum two to three weeks to get your body set up and prepared for what's about to happen, we're going to go a little bit more aggressive at the hips, at the thoracic spine, to continue to create that mobility and stability to make sure that your lower back is strengthened up. So we're going to start on the one and nine today. And looking down at the procedures, we have these eight angulations, these eight red lines everywhere that go from 0, 45, 90, 135, 180, 135, 90, 45. So familiarize yourself with those right now. Once we get into this one and nine position, and if you're a little bit taller, you can go wider. If you're a little bit shorter, you can go narrower. The dots are merely meant to be landmarks. Let's go ahead and stick our hands on our hips. We're going to start in the transverse plane, just like kind of screwing off the bottle cap. We're going to rotate our hips to the right, and we're going to take them back to the left. Keeping our eyes straight. The goal is going to be keeping your eyes straight, not just because you have to watch us, but also because we want to have more of this motion throughout the spine with the eyes fixed ahead. So we're doing about 10 reps of these, just transverse rotations, kind of getting everything moving, keeping the weight distributed 50-50 evenly throughout the feet. Once we get to those 10 reps, we're going to change the plane and we're going to take it 90-90 or that frontal plane. So we're going to push left 90 and we're going to push right 90, trying to stay directly side to side with this frontal plane movement, creating that motion at the hips about 10 times through, allowing your body to be nice and relaxed and allowing that lubrication to kind of spread throughout as we warm up and get the blood flowing. And after we do that, we have that zero and that 180 axis. We're going to push back to that 180. We're going to go ahead and we're going to push straight up to that zero. Keeping in mind that if we get a bite in the lower back, we back off our range of motion. Our eyes are following our trunk, but we're also trying to really drive that pelvis forward and not get a crunch in the lower back because we're trying to strengthen it. Very good. Great. About 10 repetitions there. Now we're going to increase the challenge a little bit by just merely picking up and toe touching that right foot. So we're going to crush that one. Imagine there's a big ugly bug or something really nasty in there. We want to keep it down on the ground. Lightweight on the right foot. And we're going to do five repetitions of the rotations. So transverse plane first, allowing that right foot to move. That's how you know there's no weight on it. If there's weight, it's not going to move so much. We're going to take it into that frontal plane. Really making sure we kind of keep the weight down on that left side. And then that sagittal plane, back to the 180, press it up to the zero. Again, keeping the weight there, making sure that we're not noticing any type of pain or pinching or discomfort in the lower back. Very good. Now for the last challenge, we're going to keep that right foot where it is, but we're just going to dangle it up to no toe touch, and we're doing two repetitions of each. So we're rotating, obviously our motion is going to slow down, and two, we're going to take it side to side, good, nice and controlled, and then we're going to take it back and forward, and relax, great job. Creating mobility and stability through the left side, we're going to continue on with the right. So nine, I'm sorry, seven and three. We're going to start basically like we did before, 10 repetitions of these transverse plane rotations. And our landmarks is 45 and 135. So our right 45 and the left 135 is where we're really trying to take those hips at a moderate speed, try and loosen them up. Remember, trying to create strength in the lower back. We're going to take them side to side, 90 and 90, about 10 repetitions. Allowing the back knee to bend, allowing the hips to get nice and loose. 
The reason we put our hands on our hips so you can feel making sure the left hip is dropping, the right hip is dropping. Don't be afraid to use your hands as cues to tell your pelvis what to do. Kind of dance with yourself a little bit. Take it sagittal to the 180 and to the zero. Remembering if you do end up having a little bit of a bite there, we don't want to go as far, but we really want to drive that left hip. We really want to drive it forward. There we go. Great job. Keeping our weight on the right side. And now increasing the intensity as we're going to toe touch that left foot. We got five repetitions. Rotating to that left 135, rotating to the right 45, keeping the weight crushed into that number three. Good. And let's go ahead and take it to the front or side to side. Very good. And finish with Sabs. We'll drive it back to 180, pelvis forward to zero. Remember to keep the weight in the right side. the challenging part, but we know you're ready for it. You pick up that left foot, two repetitions only, a rotation, slow and controlled, side to side, 90-90, and we're going to take it back to that 180, and we're going to push it up to that zero. And great job, relax, shake it out a little bit, should have some blood flow and go, go into the hip. We're going to now move up into that thoracic spine. Knowing that the lower back is caught between the thoracic spine and the hips, we want to create mobility and stability in both areas. We're going to start on the five and the one. And what we're going to do is we're going to cross our hands across our chest here, and we're really trying to kind of get after that thoracic spine. So keeping our feet where they're at, we're going to take our elbows, we're going to rotate them to that right 135, and we're going to rotate them around to that left 135. And we're just going to rotate kind of through, focusing on this upper back. We're going to go for about five times. Good. We're going to now take it 90-90. So we're just going to tip on over to our right, and we're going to tip to our left. Thinking about lifting through the rib cage and allowing that mid-back to begin to really flex side to side. Again, if there's any discomfort or issue in the lower back, to relax your range of motion and reduce it. We're going to take it, we're going to round down going into spinal flexion, and we're going to take it up into an extension, focusing kind of right where the arms are crossing the chest. That's the area of the back that we really want to get moving. Good. One more time. Beautiful job. We're going to switch over to the three and the five. And we're going to do the same thing, keeping those arms crossed, rotating to that left. 135 to the right, 135. Creating motion, focusing on getting through here, but keeping your eyes fixed straight ahead. 90, 90. Thinking kind of lifting up through the thoracic spine, that rib cage, and really tipping side to side. Great job. We're gonna take it into flexion. And then up into extension. Great. Really trying to kind of cave into the thoracic spine and then extend up through the chest. Very good. Switching it back over to the one and the five. We're going to go ahead now, and instead of just using our trunk, we're going to start adding some arms. We're going to start adding those arms in different planes of motion. So we're going to take that left arm, we're going to rotate that left arm to the right 135, and we're going to rotate it all the way back to the left 135. Good, and we're just going to kind of swing it side to side in that transverse plane. Good, keeping the head straight. Mm -hmm. One more time. Right arm does the same thing. Smooth transition there. 135 to 135. One more time. And you're going to take both arms, take them 180, all the way 180, back to 180, keeping those heads straight ahead. Three, four, beautiful. Left is going to go down to the right 90, and it's going to come up overhead to the right 90 again. It's kind of creating a nice big arc, thinking right through that thoracic spine. Two more times here. One more 
time here. Transitioning right arm, taking it left 90 at the ground and left 90 overhead. Now we're trying to get lots of motion going through that right back. One more time. I know you guys guessed it. Take both arms, give me to the right 90, to the left 90. Good. The left arm is going to take it back to the 180 just by itself, and that left arm is going to take it up to the 180 again. We're kind of going to that ground range, to that overhead range, going from one arm to the other arm to both arms. One more time here. And transition to that right arm. Very good. We're going to take both arms down and take them up. Good, allowing the whole body to move. You can see your hips now getting into it, driving forward as she comes up. Everything we've worked up to, we're looking to integrate it into the system. And five. Very good. We're going to do the same thing the other side. So we're going to three and five. We're going to start with that right hand first, rotating to that left 135, and nice and easy swinging it back to that right 135. Good. Once again, this is for you, your body, how does it feel? If it's too much, reduce the range of motion, the speed, even pull the arm potentially in. But allow the body to go through these motions and movements. And both arms are gonna get going. To that frontal plane, right arm 90, and take it up overhead. Good. Really just kind of allowing that side body to move through it. Good. Making sure we're using those 90 90s on the ground is kind of our external cue, our marker of where we need to go. And both arms, we're going to take them overhead, to the left, and to the right. And you can see how Marissa's hips are definitely moving with it. Once again, we want to include and integrate the hips into the thoracic spine so we can build strengthening in that lower back. That right arm's going to take it back to the 180. It's going to drive up to overhead at 180. Good. Allowing the whole spine to flex and extend, moving through the front of the left hip, the back of the right hip. Good. And once again, moving at your own pace. We're looking to get about five or so repetitions, but with all the positive movements, we're getting plenty of angles and many different ways to create resiliency throughout the lower back. Because in life and function, the lower back has to be prepared for all of these different motions and movements incorporated into the thoracic spine and the hips. And great job. All right, so we're going to get you moving a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to do something called a spherical rotation. And the way that's going to work is we're going to be on the seven and the nine. The right foot is going to go ahead and step to the two. So do a few of those and just kind of get comfortable stepping to the two and coming back to the nine. So when we say come back home, you're coming back to right where you started. Okay, one more time. Great, now what we're gonna do is as we hit the two, we're gonna reach our arms down. So go ahead down to the two. Go all the way up without moving the foot. Take them overhead left. Take them overhead right. Rotate left. Rotate right. Return home. We're gonna do that again. So you're gonna step to the two down to the ground. Overhead to the left. Right. Rotate left. Rotate right. Return home. Left side, just step to the two a few times. So step to the two and come home to the seven. Very good. Just becoming familiar with the stepping pattern, allowing your body to recognize what's up. This next one, we're gonna add that spherical rotation. So we're gonna go down to the two, up overhead to the right first, to the left, rotate right, Oops. and rotate left. Bring it back. Let's do that again. So to the two down to the ground. Overhead to the right, to the left, rotate right, 
and rotate left. Excellent job. We're going to go now to the four and the six. All we're going to do is we're going to get that right foot used to stepping off to the side of the platform and straightening the left leg. We're going to break that to the six. Targeting is critical, and we want to make sure we come right back to that six. We don't step too far back in, but we get used to putting weight off to the right and loading in. We're going to do the same arm reach pattern on this next one. So we're going to reach down, up, overhead left, to the right, rotate left, and rotate right. Bring it back to the six. Here we go again, down to the ground. Overhead, to the left, right, rotate, rotate, and home to six. Left side, same thing. Let's take it a step. Good, nice and controlled. Allow that right leg to really lengthen so we can feel that adductor begin to stretch out and create a little relief on that lower back. This next one, we're going to go ahead down to the ground, overhead, to the right, left, rotating right, rotating left, return to the four, one more time, to the ground, overhead, right, left, rotate, and rotate, excellent job. Moving up to the one and the three, we're going to get that right foot used to rotating to the right, so there's that 135 to the right. Go ahead and take a step back to that with your right foot and bring it home. You're just going to learn how to step. Make sure you kind of point your foot to that 135. So you're going to open up if it's too uncomfortable. There's a 30 degree mark that's right here on the ground. We want to hit that 30 degree mark instead. We're going to do the same spherical movement to the ground, to the left, to our right, rotating left, rotating right, return to the three. Here we go again to the nine ground, overhead left, right, rotate left, rotate right. We got a left side. Step that left foot to the seven, open it up. Just get used to the stepping pattern first. Good, making sure that we're hitting the seven, we're relatively accurate, loading weight down into that left foot. This next one is the spherical reach. Go ahead, get ready, down to the ground, to the right. To the left, rotate right, rotate left, bring it home. Here we go again, to the ground, overhead to the right, rotate right, rotate left, and bring it on home. Great job. Our last exercise for lower back strengthener level two is going to start back on the nine and the seven once again. What we're going to do is, if you remember back to number one, we did this weird type one type of motion where we're rotating around and flexing one way. We're going to do the exact opposite of that, where we're going to rotate and flex in the same way. But all you have to do is learn the landmarks on Presidos and follow our cues with which hand goes to where. So what's going to happen first is our right foot is going to step to the two. And it's going to come back home. So get used to that second pattern and bring it back home. So from the nine to the two, Bringing it back home. One more time. Great job. Our left hand is going to rotate to the 180 and back home. So go ahead to the 180. Just do that a few times. Great. And our right hand is also going to go overhead to that 180. So get used to that. One more time. You're going to put those two together. So you're going to rotate to the left and flex overhead to the left as well. Very good. One more time. Excellent. Now we're going to add that together with the step, but here's going to be the catch. That left arm is going to travel from the 180 to the 135, 90, 45, 0, 45, 90, and 135, but there's going to be a transition period. So pay attention because when we get to that zero and we're stepping up here, what we're going to do is we're going to transition from our right hand going forward and our left hand going overhead to switching it so it becomes a little bit more out of sync. And you'll see kind of what that means when we transition from our left hand reaching to our right hand reaching, okay? So our right foot's going to step to the two, left hand to the 180, right hand to the 180 overhead. Right hand still goes overhead, left goes to the 135. Left to the 90, right hand's overhead to the 180. 45 to the 180. Zero and 180. Now switch your hands. So step again, right hand goes to the zero, left hand goes overhead to the zero. 
Right hand reaches 45, left hand overhead. Right hand reaches 90, left hand overhead. Right hand reaches 135. Right hand reaches 180. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do that again. Okay, so what's gonna happen is we're gonna take the right foot back to the two and do that same rotational pattern. So we're gonna reach to the 180. Left hand goes 135. Left hand goes 90. Left hand 45. Left hand zero. Switch, right hand zero, left hand overhead. Good, right hand 45. Right hand 90. Right hand 135. Right hand 180. Beautiful. Now we're just going to switch to the other side and we're ready to go. So go ahead and just get that step and pattern going. Do about four steps there so we know where we're at. Right hand is going to reach and rotate to the 180. Go ahead and do that three times. Good. Left hand overhead to the 180. Making sure we know where our landmarks are. Go ahead and put those together. So right 180, left 180. Good. Now we're going to go ahead and add that around the world. Left foot's going to step to the two. Go ahead. Right hand 135. Right hand 90. Right hand 45. Right hand zero. Left hand now reaches to zero. Right hand overhead. Left hand 45, right hand overhead. Left hand 90. Left hand 135. Left hand 180. And we're gonna run through that one more time, so go ahead. Let's go ahead and go with that right hand to the 180, left hand overhead. Oops. Go ahead to the 135. Let's go to the 90. Take it to the 45. Reach that right hand to the zero. Switch left hand now reaches to the zero, right hand overhead. Left hand goes to the 45, right hand overhead. Left hand 90. Left hand 135. And left hand 180. Congratulations. We have completed the Procedos Platform 9 Online At Home Training Program, Lower Back Strengthener Level 2. We got one more video in the series coming at you. And as always, get ready to get on it.